Okay, this next trick is called Guess Who. We're going to play a game, I've got Catherine here. And we're going to play a game of Guess Who. Have you ever played it before? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. If you've never played Guess Who, it's a game where you've got to eliminate characters to work out which one the other person is thinking of. We've got a simple Guess Who game. You can play it with any, any of the variations that are out there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make a prediction. All right, basically take out the Guess Who cards. And as you, I'm just going to show, the, the, the normal Guess Who cards have literally just taken the pack straight out of the game. I'm going to make a prediction. And I think my prediction is going to be this one. And I'm going to place it into this little, into this little container, just so that we can come back to it later. Okay, cool. Now I'll get rid of the other cards just so you don't think I'm doing anything funny later. So I want to turn away so I can't see the pieces. Perfect, I don't know if you can see me, perfect. Now, we're gonna play a game where we eliminate the pieces one at a time. So would you point to any two pieces? And I'm gonna say we're gonna get rid of this one. Now I'm gonna to point to two pieces, and you tell me which one to put down. Now you point to two pieces. Now I'll point to two pieces. And you point to two pieces. I'll point to two pieces. And you point to two pieces. And I'll point to two pieces. And you point to two pieces. And I'll point to two pieces. And you point to two pieces. I'll point to two. And you point to two. And I'll point to two. And you point to two. I'll point to two. And you point to two. I'll point to two. And you point to two. I'll point to two. And you point to two. I'll point to two. And you point to two. And we're left with one piece. Now, who is that piece? That's Robert. Robert, you want to show the camera? Now, I made a prediction before we started this trick. That prediction is in the bag. Would you pick up the bag and take out my prediction? Robert. And that's Robert. It's also magic. <laughs> so this is Guess Who, and I'm going to show you how we did this trick. Okay. Okay, we'd like to know? Yes. Wonderful. So, <laughs> we've got the uh, jigsaw game. Now this is the normal Guess Who. I got this one from a charity shop for a pound, so I don't think it's going to cost you a small, going to cost you a small fortune for all. You only need one of the boards, but because you get two, you can put a spare one if it breaks down. Um, I'm going to basically choose one of these pieces which I want to force. In this case, I chose Robert because he looked the most normal out of everybody. I performed this trick a few times, and interestingly enough, the few times the times I performed it, if I chose someone like Herman here who has no hair, like me, but he has no hair, some there's a kind of people choose him more often than not. I've realised that when you're choosing between the people, anybody with an interesting characteristic like glasses or a beard, they get pointed to a lot. I don't know if you realised you were doing that. No one seems to do. I've just performed the trick enough that I've realised that. Yes. I, I was wanting to get rid of the other one. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to get rid of the other one. Well, that's perfectly, that's a, a, exactly proves my point. <laughs> They're not, the, not real people. So I chose Robert because he was the most normal looking person on the board. The other reason I chose him is because he was on the end. And it's not... It doesn't make much difference for the trick, but it means I can keep my eye on him and I'm less likely to mess up. If it was one of the middle ones, I might forget where he is. So I've literally, because I wanted Robert, I took him out of the sleeve, put him in the end one, and it means I can keep track of him a bit better. I've not marked it or anything like that. There's no, it is just a normal Guess Who game. I could play this game now if I wish to, but I know Robert's the one I'm gonna force. So I take out the cards and I choose the card which I want to force, which is Robert. I could give you this to put in your pocket, but you don't have no pockets today, so we're going to place it into this little bag just to kind of do the thing. Now what we're doing is a form, a form it's a kind of force called a patio force. I've performed this a particular force with two tricks. I do a jigsaw trick which uses it, and we're, excuse me, we're doing the exact same technique with this game. But there's a few little subtle differences which we have to take into account. The first, this is because there are an even number of pieces. And for an even number of pieces, I need the last two pieces to be picked to be chosen by you. So for that, I need you to point to two pieces to begin with. Okay. Now, because I've had her point to the two pieces to begin with, it means you'll also be the last person. It'll make a big difference uh, when it gets to the end. 
Now I know this piece is here, so we're never, I'm never going to touch that piece. But if you were to point to two pieces again, there's almost only two, I'm going to ask you to put down one. I'm going to point to two, and now you point to two, and I'll point to two, and you point to two. Now she's chosen, she's put her finger on the piece that we don't want to go down. But she's got another piece, so I can tell her to get rid of that one. Now I point to two, and as long as I never choose that piece, you point to two, we're okay. I'll point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. This does get interesting. I point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. I'll point to two, and you point to two. Now, this is the last two pieces. I know that's my fourth piece, so I just get rid of the other piece. So now we're left with rubber, which is the piece I wanted to force on you. And even better, I can then do this whole trick again if I wanted to. I wouldn't, really shouldn't do, because one of the laws of magic is to never repeat the same trick twice. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those few exceptions where if I really wanted to, I could choose a different piece. Let's say the next time I did it, I would choose Max, and I'll just find the Max card, and I would just put Max inside the bag, and I could do the trick again. I wouldn't do that with the same person, but if I was going to do it to lots of friends, I could do it with a different person every single time. Mm -hmm. So it's even stronger because it continuously changes people. Did you get that? You want to start yeah. it? Yeah. Wonderful. So I hope you like it. That's Guess Who. And it's a really fun trick to do. And most people have a Guess Who game in their house already. Mm -hmm. They should be able to go ahead and perform it. Hope you enjoy it.